it is important you come to term with who you are. It is important you accept your experiences. You take ownership of your failures. You take ownership of your environment and things that surround you. Many people live pretending all the days of their lives. They are hiding and masking their real identity. By so doing, they cannot amount to greatness. They will not be able to discover the hidden potential, the personality that God has made them to be. They will bury their reason the rest of their lives because they fail to unravel who they are. As a person, everything you have been through in life, the, uh, your education, your failure, everything turns out to become a gift to you. And because you are a spirit being, the Lord gives you power to transform every experience to positive end. When the devil tries to mess up with human race, God gave us Jesus Christ. The Bible says all things work together for our good. But when you bury the realities around your life, when you bury your potential, when you try to become somebody else, you can never become great in life. Because the raw material, precursors, things that you need to build your future are hidden within you. You are a unique person. And this part of individuality that is in you is what you need to create a masterpiece out of yourself. Your personal brand will suffer so much if you try to be like somebody else. It's time to accept who you are. It's time to accept your nativity. nativity. It's time to accept your, your background, your family tie, the nation you came from. All things work together for our good. There's no, uh, there's no extent at which your life may seem to have been messed up something good can come out of it. Every experience has a message. If you get the message, your life will get better. Every witness has a hidden strength. If you get the message, every poverty has an opportunity for you to harness and turn to wealth. But it takes being able to look deeply and not to pretend and not to pretend to see yourself otherwise. See yourself as God sees you. When God came to the earth, the earth was without form. God did not run away from the formless earth. He hovered over it and it was transformed. Take your life back to God as a gift and tell him there's something good in it. Lord, unravel it. And the Lord will start a wonderful work to turn your shape to glory. Jesus has a few loaves of bread and fishes. He did not discount it. He lifted them up and they became multiplied means of feeding 5,000 plus. Your life can extend to nations. You can become a major impact in your generation. Look at yourself again. There's something good in it. Start a new journey of meaning. God bless you. I am Wale Adewumi. God bless you.